Hey everybody, this is Angie, known as The Light. Welcome to my channel. I only got 10 minutes to get out this video. I still don't have a laptop. I ordered a laptop. Thank you to the three people that sent me $80 in donations. I never raised the $300. It's all good. It's just that I'm going to make videos when I want to make videos now. Um, so I appreciate the people who donated. I did order a laptop. I don't know if it's coming because it's been like two or three weeks now in the whole coronavirus situation. Um, I'm not really sure what's going to happen. The laptop is going to show up. We'll see. They'll probably end up shipping it to me later or I don't know what's going to happen. It'll probably giving me my money back. I don't know what's going on right now because I haven't gotten a shipping um a shipping um, email or anything like that about my laptop so <laughs> you know finally got the money to get it and it's missing in action right now um anyway but I really appreciate those who did donate the $80 thank you so much I appreciate you uh, if you'd like to make a donation to me you can do so I'm gonna put my cash app and PayPal information in the description bar not in the description bar in the comment section um, I also have Zelle, I have Venmo, but I would have to email you to give you that information because I don't want to put it in my comment section. I hope everyone's doing okay during this whole um, pandemic. I um, hope I, no one passed away. I hope everyone's healthy and safe and um, has plenty of anything that they need or want. Um, and I hope no one's life is being changed because of this situation. So... Quickly, I want to talk about, I don't know how I never talked about this before, or maybe I have, but I just haven't did a video on it, how how harsh and disgusting narcissists talk to you. Um, yes, we talk about like all their little tactics, but let's just keep it real. I've had like the worst thing said to me from narcissists, like things that... I couldn't even, like, would never put my mind to, to say to somebody ever in life. <laughs> I mean, and these things stick with you. This is why, you know, mental and verbal, you know, verbal abuse can be, in some cases, worse than physical abuse. Because even after you're abused, these words, words of seeds and um, words kill, it breaks down your spirit and you don't forget these things. These things, they've planted these seeds in you with these horrible, horrible, disgusting things that they say to you. Yes, they do a lot of horrible things to you, but really what captures you is their words. Um, because you're so stuck on the good that they used to do, you, you subconsciously have this high standard for this person. You just want to go back to how... They used to treat you and the sweet things they used to say to you. Um, but the most disgusting things that I have been said to me in my life were from narcissists. Um, you know how like everybody gets angry and they'll say things. But no, these narcissists would just say horrific, disgusting things to you for no reason at all. You didn't even do anything to you. And they'll do it and they'll watch your reaction. And um, a lot of times we're pretty much in shock. I know I have been in shock. I pretty much was in shock about the things that were being said to me. So I'm going to give you an example. And it's crazy because some of you are probably friends or lovers with people who are saying disgusting things to you. And you might be blaming yourself for it. No, nobody should be talking to you in, um, in, in a disgusting way. So... <laughs> When I think back, I used to, um, I was seeing this narcissistic guy. I don't think I've ever mentioned him. And it's because his spirit disgusts me so much. Um, yes, disgusting is like my new favorite word. <laughs> but, um, so I met this guy, believe it or not, um, through my first love. <laughs> so my first love cheated on me, right? And, um... I don't, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say my first love was a narcissist, but he definitely, he, he was no good. So my first love cheated on me 
and he happened to have like a New Year's Eve party. This is like before we um, ended up breaking up. And there was a guy who came to his party who happened to be from his neighborhood. They weren't friends, but his sister invited the guy over. And that's how I met this guy. So after I broke up with my first love, I ended up seeing this guy that I met at the party, okay? So I met this guy at the party, and we start seeing each other. And I'm thinking, he's my boyfriend at this time. I'm like, oh, okay, I got a new man now. So I began, this guy always wanted so much time with me, guys. He wanted so much time with me to the point. I was in college at the time because I was 19. So I was in college. I was living with my mom and, and my stepfather. Um, and I, I had a job and stuff like that. So I was going to school at night and working during the day. I live in Queens. This guy lived in the Bronx. So I would travel from Queens to the Bronx and I he began to like latch on to me. So I was literally sleeping at this guy's house, keep in mind, which was terrible because this guy lived with his mom, his dad, and his older brother. So silly me, being young and dumb, I was sleeping at this guy's house maybe three or four weeks out of seven days of the week. And um, you know, he would take me on dates and stuff like that. We would hang out and he would give me money, but I noticed, like, he never introduced me to his friends. You know, we never really went anywhere, like, too far from home. You know, there, there was signs there, um, and everything was basically on his terms. So, I remember one day, I had, um, I found some earrings, and they were, like, cheap like dollar store earrings <laughs> and at the time my mother she bought me jewelry so I used to have real gold real diamond stuff like that my mom was like into stuff like that so I was spoiled and my mom would buy me real jewelry so I, I didn't have I didn't wear fake jewelry at the time I wear it now I don't care so I found like these tarnished looking dollar store earrings in his bedroom and I was like you know I'm like I don't know, maybe one of his cousins, I, I said that in my mind, like, maybe one of his cousins left the earrings in his house because he had, like, a lot of family members who would come over to his house. And, um, you know, he started to act really weird through the months, you know, um, being distant. You know, all these signs were there, and he used to talk to me crazy or whatever the case is. But then one day, he said something. Keep in mind, I did not know what narcissism was. So he said to me one day, he was like, you know what? I got to tell you something. And I'm like, okay, what? He said, being with you is like winning the lottery. But then when you go pick up your money from your lottery ticket, you find out it's five dollars and not one million dollars. Guys, I'm 36 years old. I was 19 when this narcissist said this shit to me. And I will never forget it. I will never forget it. Keep in mind, I didn't do anything to this guy. This was the second guy I've ever slept with. I was literally spending all this time with him, still maintaining a job, still in college. I was a good, decent girl. I wasn't cheating on him. If he wanted me to bring him food, I would bring him food. I was a good girlfriend. I supported his dreams, all kind of stuff. And this is what this guy said to me. So, here's how he broke up with me, guys. This is disgusting. So, instead of telling me he's replaced me, he's found another supply, right? While we were having sex, <laughs> and keep in mind, when I think about it, the sex was horrible. Now that I'm older and I'm experienced, it was disgusting. It was horrible. It was basically like he was masturbating with my body, okay? While he's inside me, guys, he goes, you know what? I can't do this anymore. Get up, put your clothes on. And um, I'm walking you to the bus stop. So he walks me to the bus stop. And he says to me, You know when I told you I had a God kid coming along? Well, it's really not my God kid. It's my new daughter on the way. And I'm done with you. 
And, you know, I wish I, it was a way that I can make you the godmother. Guys, this guy was the worst narcissist. I mean, just, just, just disgusting. Don't let people talk to you like this. Don't let people treat you like this. And I tell y'all these stories, not for y'all to feel bad for me, because I know some of you ladies or some of you men have had these horrible things said to you that broke your spirit and your confidence. You are worthy to be loved. I'm running out of time. My camera's going to...